So the front panel of the light window light, you have your silence alarm button. If you press it one time, this will silence the alarm for two minutes. If you press and hold until audible alarm stops flashing in the center of the screen, this will silence the alarm until you press this red button again. And then we have the ECG lead. So you can toggle in between leads one, two, and three here. And each one of these leads looks at the heart at a different angle. Next, we have the start NIBP button. This can start your blood pressure. Uh, this would just be for the manual cycle. So this would allow you to take it into a room, get a quick, quick reading on a patient. And then the orange button is for your stop NIBP. We do have a print button. If your monitor is installed with a strip chart, you can easily print your ECG waveform using this button. On the bottom, we have the two LED lights. The top one is for the battery. The bottom is for your power supply. You can see if I disconnect the power supply here, this light does go off. So you want to make sure that your monitor is plugged in at all times. Really, the battery is just meant as a backup in the event of power failure or if you have to transport the patient.